Let me quickly demonstrate how I fixed the Crave envelopes, which by the way also holds for other Behringer synths like Pro One. And uh, it would also be possible there. So this is a proof of concept and uh, this is the improvement. Let's just quickly play a very high pitched note. And you can see here on the oscilloscope, we have a short blip. Actually, if you zoom in, you will see that uh, it's, it's around about one millisecond attack and then one millisecond decay time. So let's go back to this zooming level and let's just play around with the knob. Here you see how I can increase that. So let's just zoom out again to see the increase a bit better. You see how, how fine I can zoom in, uh, I can increase the attack and decay time. By the way, decay. So let's uh, decrease that and let's go for decay. So it's very smooth and very fine, like you would expect from an analog synth. So please, Behringer, do incorporate that into your original firmwares so that we as users don't have to do that.